back everybody to another episode of Anno 1800 where we are in Inbeza finally and we already had a uh, diplomatic faux pas as it were. I think they fixed this place up. It looks fixed-ish. This looks kind of charred. Th they didn't fix this one though. It, uh, yeah, we, we can send some funds to repair that for them if they really, really want it. Um, the other thing that's happening is I was under the impression that... Gasparov and Graves were here. To my surprise, they in fact aren't. The only place that they can be now is in Cape Trelawney. And we have sent an expeditionary ship to locate them, as it were. Uh, because we need to make sure we finish what we started, right? This isn't like some Kylo Ren, oh, I'm gonna finish what Darth Vader started type moment, there's no source material, and you can definitely tell that I'm salty about it. I'm Leave it at that, we are actually going to finish the job. And then, we need to turn and start fighting Miss Hunt. Because, quite frankly, her influence over these territories is just way too much right now. Way too much to handle, way too much for comfort, to be perfectly honest. And our fleet is definitely capable of dealing with this. 100% it is. Why are they here? Why are they going to park like right over here? The hell? I have ships at random spots. They must have been chasing something. Unless they didn't have room. In which case that's entirely possible. Okay, so do I have any other idle ships? I have... No, that one's not idle. Well, let's figure out where our expedition is. Oh, there's a... No. What the hell? Oh boy. Well, I mean, we have the champagne, so we might as well, like, have some diplomacy. Yeah, just keep doing diplomacy. Finding the queen is a means to an end, okay? We're not, I, I guess I should say, we're not entirely loyal to the queen, but... <laughs> uh, something is brewing. Uh, something is definitely brewing. That's, that's for certain. Um, Constantinople is looking pretty good at the moment as well. Uh, we, I've actually stopped bringing in resources for now, because the, the settlement is okay-ish as far as, like, raw resources is concerned. Um, mostly because it was putting a strain on North Ditchwater, and I couldn't have that happen anymore. But we got it to engineers, pretty much, so... Not too shabby. I don't know what skin I want for here, though, because I don't want it to match... Uh... We got some colorful homes up in here. You know they added a steampunk pack to the game? It's kind of interesting. I, I was thinking about it, but then at the same time I was like, well, let me see how this really plays out. Because the first thing my mind went to was Piltover for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know, like maybe I can, I can try to do something like that maybe later. I don't know. But uh, I really am happy that you guys are also enjoying the series so far. There's been a lot of new interest in this. And, uh, you know, it, it just makes me happy that you guys are happy. That's that's really important to me. And we need to... I think the Lord and Lady... I, think, I needed one ship over here. Oh, there it is. If I just panned the camera just a little bit more to the left, I would have seen her. Alright, we need to get some more... Um, People. Now, I think I did get an actor, in which case I can put her in here, because then it's going to really help with this whole canned food thing. Uh, sausages is a little bit low here, so... Where in the hell are you? You're at Isengard? I mean, you're in the right place. You're getting off lightly. Where's the ship of the line? It's right here. Oh, crap. Is it going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my fleet? Where's my fleet? Don't destroy my ship. I parked the fleet over there. Get over here and... Oh my god, you piece of shit. Get out of here. If it's going to the other side... No, it's... God damn it. Luckily these things have a decent amount of hit points and that thing can't kill it off outright. Uh... We might as well go on an intercept course over here. So have the fleet reposition. Uh, yours should be fine. It's it's going away now. Head back over here. 
Didn't I have something that I destroyed? I don't have proof of destruction. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on. Uh, go and pick this up. Actually, no. We're just gonna wait for our ships. Uh, one of our uh, battleships will take care of that. Let me actually make sure this is done. Uh, so, yeah, we have to go up against Miss Hunt at some point, and I think that point is rapidly approaching. I do have influence. I do need to make sure that my little influence farm is actually working, like, all the time. And I need to definitely take Torp's suggestion building these on all of our, uh, old world or new world provinces we also have a new governor for rosa sanguina nick is now the governor here and i'm sure he will do fantastic another very loyal rantian and i could not be more pleased all right move the fleet into position actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build some more ships all right i want that thing destroyed please before it fires on my Goddamn city. Okay, it didn't even fire a shot. That's wonderful. Alright, I want the Nebuchadnezzar to grab that, and then let's have the Skipjack grab this. Okay, you head on over to Eli over here, please. And the Skipjack is going to go and pay a visit to, I think it's Miss Hunt over here she's building up her defenses i think with the upgrades that we have now this should be a piece of cake honestly the big betties are what's gonna hurt us so if we want to attack this settlement we're gonna have to go from this corridor but we're gonna have to knock out um how do you say that Siming? Siming? i don't fucking know yeah, the war with her is going to be long and tedious, but very, very fun. And how do you start this off? Well, let me tell you. You go over here and you build battle cruisers. Can I only build two? Oh, because I don't have enough uh, steel beams here. Yep, that'll do it. The Cape of Trelawney. Uh, the queen fled the casino at high speed, and your own carriage is some distance behind. Your driver thinks she's headed up the coast, perhaps to a ship. You can either keep up your pursuit or else rush to your own ship, which, if the orders are given to the captain to be followed, uh, should be waiting at the... Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, yeah, get to my ship. My ship's pretty fast. Your ship was indeed waiting in the marina. Quickly rouse the captain and his crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, see? There you go. Navigation to us 20%. Same pursuit. This thing's fast. Really? How is her slow-ass ship capable of outrunning this thing? I am not here to escape domestic dissatisfaction, but to address it. Our nation has lost its pride, but pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney, is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney. Yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell Father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here. Perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter. And I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. A humble outpost now, perhaps, but it promises to become the largest capital of the world. Warden of Trelawney, you say? Um, I have grander designs. <laughs> oh man. Okay.
Okay, so we're here now. We are looking at... Oh, do you actually have uh, great fertility here? And hops. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. So we can get what we need here and uh, export it to places that need beer and champagne. Or do we want to do that on this island? Well, there's a lot of things that I've been considering doing on this mega beast of a, of a location. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it because uh, I've been working on it. Oh, looky here! Well, hello, my old friend. How you doing there, pal? Man, you've really let yourself go. Holy shit. Small ass little island here? Mm -mm -mm. I remember when you declared war on me. Are you regretting it now? How come you're not taking advantage of these zinc deposits and limestone? You're only using this little iron mine? Look how angry he is! <laughs> Uh, sore loser. We gotta find out where your buddy is. Like, both of you have to go down at the same time. No? Okay, back to the old world it is. I think I have some... I need... Yeah, they're they're building up. They need time. We pirates may not rule the way. Where's my ship? Why is it taking forever to get here? You should be really fast, man. And I think having Isengard as an industrial city for a long time would be able to work. Um, because I've been thinking about it quite extensively. It should be able to hold out everything that we need for a while. <laughs> it all looks in order. Because the majority of the stuff that we need are like steel, windows, all that stuff. Uh, beer production, we can get a whole bunch of that. I mean, we can get the grain from Constantinople easy. Uh, if we need it, we can always import it, so not a big deal. So I think it'll work a uh, decent amount of time. What I'm also going to be doing as far as Constantinople is concerned, just for you guys to know, uh, the column of Constantine would probably be around here. Either here or Come. here. Don't be shy. Wise beyond your years. Okay, where's the skipjack? Uh, well, I can't click on him now because he's standing still. Ready for action. Get over here. Um, yeah, and then around here, I'm actually going to build homes. So all of the countryside's actually going to go away. And then the forum will be completely surrounded by homes and whatnot. I think, uh, this, you know, electricity may not be a bad thing out here. But we'll see. Ideally, I wanted it to be in this long stretch only. But, I mean, if the city is already booming, we might as well consider it to be a little bit, you know, more effective in that regard. So, have homes. Maybe, like, some parks out in front of the walls here to begin with, and then start again with the homes. You can even build some homes along here, too, if you really wanted to. This is completely, like, th these two marketplaces are completely just for aesthetic purposes only. They have absolutely nothing else necessary to do. Because I don't think the radius, I mean, though it seems to be a pretty decent one, I'm not sure if we were to start building some homes over here, how that would factor in. But we can try. I mean, it's all, you know, this game's a whole bunch of trial and error. Uh, Cape Trelawney, please. To it's more like I, I don't have a choice. All right, so uh, what I'm thinking is probably park the trading post right here. And then the docklands will probably be over there because you have a, a larger area for it. All right. All right, Crown Falls has officially been founded. And then you know I what you do? A brilliant metropolis rising here. From the memory of the victory my father masterminded me. A shining new jewel in the crown of my empire. Um, I'm starting to lose interest in her constantly. I know you guys are too. Okay, so these ships... I need you to go to Crown Falls. The one ship that's somewhere out here... I don't know where it's at. Where are you at? Or did it arrive already? Oh no, it's here. 
Uh, the Skipjack is actually kind of close enough, so... The Skipjack ha legitimately has the best gun in the fleet, so you definitely need to go to Crown Falls. Um, so, let me tell you exactly what I'm planning. At least a little bit of a... Uh, oh my god. An impish little man, dredging up bits and pieces. He may be exactly what we require. <sighs> Please don't interrupt me, Queen. Um, what I have been toying around with in creative mode is a little bit of a uh, interesting idea for Crown Falls. Uh, later on, the name will change, but I have really been intrigued with this whole canals business, and because this is a first that I have it, and uh, you know, being here, I really want to try and make. A good portion of the map, at least in the middle here, all the way to probably like here-ish, simulate a floating city, as it were. So all the districts would be having the canals intertwined, and as far as electricity is concerned, I really want to use the. A renowned personage has arrived. Oh damn! Oh damn! Hell yeah, oh, definitely. Welcome. So yeah, that's what I've been uh, working on little by little. Um, I think it would look nice, but we need to get to that point. I'm also going to be putting street lights and whatnot along the canals. So then once the city at night, when it's lit up, it looks amazing. Alright, I gotta find our other buddy around here. Not gonna bother with uh, this dude right now. We're not actually gonna be um, working on the Cape Trelawney storyline for a little bit of time because I think what I would want to do ideally is make sure that no other AI opponents are, you know, around at that point and we have our supply lines pretty much set. So it'll be a little bit of time before we get to work on the floating city. But we have to find our friends first and Miss Hunt needs to bite the dust. Luckily, we have a very fast ship here. So that works as well. The, the thing about it is, right, like if you look at Invisa, every single one of the islands have been colonized by her. And uh, they each have resources that we're going to need. So like Tef grass, and this one has bee abundance and spices. Hibiscus fertility, indigo, same here. Relatively the same here. Yeah, so like we don't have everything on top of Rium. We're kind of just like... We have the island, and I'm probably going to work on the layout just a little bit. I, I know what I'm planning, but my brain is crazy, so. Oh, hey, pal! Where are you going? Uh, clearly, this ship knows where you are. I love this song, and I think it just it fits with this moment so much. <laughs> there he is! There's my buddy. What the size is your island? It's a little dicky one. <laughs> this is what I've caused them to become. Oh man, this is too funny. So is this all they have? I think Miss Hunt has the rest. That's too funny. It seemed like once my fleet arrives, where is it? Uh, yeah, we have those ships heading on over. They're just making the turn now. The crane. Let's see what's happening over here. Because this is another island, I believe. I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll see. If they have more than one island, I'll be very surprised. The Fenton's over here just like going through all this fog of war. It's so like, man, we, we need to find these guys ASAP. Because once the fleet gets here, they're just going to have a complete kill order. They're, they're going to go and destroy these guys. So, so far, it just looks like they have one island each. And that kind of makes sense if you look at their like relative economy. Like, only nine for Gasparov and eight for Graves. So... I seriously thought they were an embezzle. Don't think you'll be getting any more. Damn, thank you. I don't know what I'm gonna do with seventeen thousand, but 
very kind of you, nevertheless. So we're probably gonna have an industrial island here as well. I think it's it's necessary for Crown Falls. I, you you need to have one pretty much. Otherwise, you're you just can't build everything on here. I actually a long time ago saw this one YouTube video of a guy who made the entire island into a big industrial complex, and I was so impressed. All right, we need to find the other islands. They're down here, and I think, um, where are we at? We're here-ish, right? So head on down here. And we should be able to just take out both their islands like instantly. Old world, what's happening here? I feel like it's taking a long time to build these ships. Did I lose electricity to them again? I hope not. How about this, uh, fair thing? Are you done? Ship under attack. Where? Oh, wow. He's opening fire. That's my justification to kill him. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. He fired on me first. My ship got damaged. Man, that sucks. Alright, where's my fleet? Oh, they're here. They're, they're almost here. I kind of want to see them come in. <laughs> Should be able to see them on the horizon relatively soon-ish. And if they're coming anywhere, they're coming from here. Oh, that's such a beautiful sight. So calm. Peaceful. Beautiful landscape. I love the water textures in this game. Like, they've done a miraculous job with this. Oh, they're over there. What the hell? Why are they going over here? How is the skipjack before all the rest of them? It was the last ship to go through. Alright. Oh my god, he has another island and it's actually a decent size. What? Okay, color me impressed, man. Awaiting orders. All right, so do I actually have enough influence? Uh, if that's the case, you know what? It's going to pay me to do, but I kind of prefer the influence over having more ships in the fleet right now. Uh, Cape Trelawney, please. Damn, he actually has a pretty decent-sized island over here, and Miss Hunt hasn't taken over. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Then we should probably head back here, because Graves might have something else. Well, we'll know once we uh, attack him here momentarily. Alright, move the fleet into position, and we're going to attack. These guys have just been itching for a fight since they've been fully upgraded. <laughs> they're going to get one now, because there are three islands that we have to take for sure. This is what happens when you declare war on Rantian. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Ship under attack. Yes, 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 I know, I know, I know. I... How does he have so many? Okay, you know what? I might as well just, like, call the Fenton back. Alright. Fire. Okay, we're clear to engage. Now, is he still alive? He is still alive. That means he has an island somewhere. Look at you, swagger. Okay, what'd you have in here? You had a grape shot cast mortar, a congrave rocket, some shells, a prototype torpedo, and a goat. Under attack. What the hell? He's got two islands here. Interesting.
get this thing out of here. Okay, now move in. There's enemy's an... resistance is crumbling. He's still alive, man. Where the hell does he have an island? It must be one of these larger ones. Damn, okay. So I actually have, like, relatively free reign over here, and Miss Hunt hasn't taken these guys over? I'm so surprised. The, the thing is, though, right, we have these two islands, so we have the gateway back into, you know, Cape Trelawney. The thing about it is, though, um... Oh, what the hell's happening here? They on fire? Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the thing about it is, I don't like the fact that she has this island. But she has built a whole bunch of these pepper farms, man. Jesus Christ. That is insane. Uh, do I have the capability of building a crane here? I think I do, because I think I'm going to need it. Uh, get over here. It's not here. It's over here, I think. I don't have the windows. Okay, well, that's, not, that's fine. We should be able to replenish relatively quickly. To and if anything, we just keep these two ships behind and go on with the rest until they're fixed. Because in a friendly port, they will, you know, they will go up relatively fast. All right, so I have a feeling like this island probably belongs to one of these idiots. Or what I could do is I can go back with the Fenton and get some windows and bring them over here. Or actually, you know what? I have a really nifty airship. An airship that's very, very fast and, and kind of useless right now. Why don't you bring me over some windows, champ? Are my industries working over here? Okay, they are. Alright, that's good. So long as they're functioning, that's all I really care about. Onwards. Okay, the Comnenos is gonna bring me some windows. 50 windows should do, because I'm only gonna need the one. I think I have everything necessary for the rest, correct? Let's take a look. This is what Crown Falls is right now. It's a military launching point. That's a pier. Repair crane. Oh, what the shit? What was I, what was I looking at? Oh my god, I was looking at the pier. Ship under attack. Oh god, I'm stupid sometimes. Okay. What's happening here? Oh, they're here. Okay. Attention. Okay, destroyed this. Oh, that's a big Betty. Oh no 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 no. Oh my god, we blew it up just before that happened. I need to get these ships in here. Get these ships over here. Fire at this fucking thing now. Thank you. I think this is his last island. It has to be. This ship is just gone full dumbass, I swear to god. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She wasn't even sieging it. One morale loss. That's what I thought. You better not take a damn thing. This is my island. From the inside out. I may reciprocate. Holy crap. Ooh. I wish I had done more cooking. I always had the temperament of a chef. 
All right, well, there goes Alonzo Graves. He's no the longer in the game. Has been annihilated. Let's go. But now I don't have enough influence to deal with... Uh, what's his nut over there? Have to do our best. Head on over here. So that's when our influence farm is going to be really important because I'm not going to allow Miss Hunt to take the other islands that we need to have, pretty much. All right, you start up again. Critics. <laughs> Those poor people cannot paint and resent the fact. Okay, we're going to get like a fan tribute probably of like around 20-ish influence. I think that's not bad. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. I think um, influence is... What, what is this giving us? This is attractiveness, right? Ooh. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what it does. If that's the case, then I can definitely build more. Because I'm not really caring too much about the population here at the moment. I'm kind of just allowing them to big chill, as it were. Uh, we could probably build some homes up here, too. Uh, how did I have them built? Like this? Yeah, that's how I had them built. Okay. Nice, I completely forgot that this is how, uh, I've been <laughs> holding on to my influence game. Nice, okay. So that works relatively well. We have 68 influence to play with, so we can actually continue our onslaught. I love it. Okay, and in that case, I don't need the fence in here anymore. Uh, I'm gonna send you back home to Constantinople. Get these ships fixed up first, and then we are gonna go and figure out where the hell else this dude is. Because I think, um, his, <laughs> this dude is so edgy. Nether plain. Wasn't aware that he was a Minecraft player in his downtime. And he had a big Betty over there. Like, he was he was trying to do the the, the 360 no-scope comeback. Like, he, he was trying. I gotta give him props for that. Okay, get these ships fixed up. And then uh, park them, like, over there-ish. What's that? The top banana, too. Okay. Hey, you had this place be, or your father had a military launching point from here, so might as well. We can do the same. I think uh, I'll probably end up making this top area like a park of some sorts, because I have this whole national, uh, what is this thing called? National Park Pack. Ooh. Yeah, it should be nice-ish. Willow tree. Oh, you can drag? Ew, cool. So can you, like... Oh, you can make it a beefy boy. Okay, Forest Lake. What about this? Oh, cool. Very nice. I've actually never tried to use these things at all. A long bridge? Okay, that's cool. And then grass. Observation point. Oh, that's actually really nice. Like, probably over here yeah look at that and you look down at the entire city jesus okay yeah that's gonna be nice um wanders rest cool campfire not safe feeding station a ruined tower oh intriguing Eagle's Nest Cafe. Oh, that's so nice, man. I have never seen that. That's so cool. An eroded rock. A majestic rock. A tent. A campsite that has two tents. A picnic table. And a trail brunch. Cool. I actually like this pack now. Didn't use it much before, but... Looks pretty cool now. All right. So I need the ships that are okay to veer off. Uh, go over here. These two ships can go over here. And these three over here. 
Once that one's fixed, I think that's... This one's also okay. This one can go over here. This one will be fixed in a moment. Can we build another one, perhaps? No, I don't have enough uh, steel beam. Now I genuinely do not have enough material. Guns blazing. Okay, this one's almost fixed, and then the rest will be... Now take out a small little island over here first, of Zephyrus, and then head for Ile Flotante, I think that's how you say that, and then Aeon's Paradise. And I think they should be it. I don't think this island belongs to him. If it does, man, I, I, I'm legitimately shocked that he owned, and that dude owned, three islands. That is wild to me. Absolutely wild. Yeah, fix the Goblin Shark immediately. Uh, it looks like the aura fixed Engine's itself. The endearment is getting relatively close. This ship took a beating. Like, it took everything. It still has some... It has minor fires on there. It had major fires. Alright, well, that's happening. Um... I'm trying to figure out what I can do in the meantime. Well, I mean, I guess I can take these ships and, like, position them. What does he have as far as defenses here are concerned? They're, they're so out of range that, like, I don't need the full fleet here. Those guys to replenish, because I really, I want to continue on the conquest trail. And, uh, for the Queen to understand that the Rantian Navy is just too strong. So she better capitulate to our demands in time. This is what happens when you give me control of anything. I find some way to take it over. But if you want the honest opinion, like, how many crises have we fixed for the Queen? We dealt with the Perforian Menace. We are boosting the economy. We defeated a disgraced soldier of the Empire that was probably going to kill her off. Your ship has returned and, uh... Yeah, now we're we're over here, we're just big chillin' and we're gonna be the warden of Trelawney for a time. Till we uh break off. We're ensuring peace in the realm, okay? That's essentially what we are doing. That's what we've been tasked to do. But if the one at the very top can't ensure the peace to maintain, they're unfit to rule. All right, I'm trying to see what would be the best angle. Uh, we should be in range soon, actually. We won't ever even need to be in range of their guns. Our guns should just fire soon enough. Oh, I will, trust me. Oh, we got some of these gardens. I like that. Okay, great. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. Alright, now, this island... He doesn't have a big Betty. He doesn't have anything major, actually. Does he have another pier or something back here? No, he does not. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can just go at him with this fleet. Okay, this one's also replenished, so where did we actually sit? I really want the full fleet here. I don't know why. I, I really do. Uh, head on over here, and then these guys head on over here as well. This ship is still replenishing from what it, the damages it took. Jesus Christ, that is insane. It tanked everything. <laughs> I mean, having all these islands early on is actually going to be really, really powerful for us here. So I'm actually very pleased. So it, it definitely, Miss Hunt did not have a, a great influence over here, and I'm very happy about that. This can be the last region that we have to deal with her in. We just won't build anything. We can keep a, like, a minimal naval presence over here, and then return once we have the numbers. Battle cruiser ready. Uh, yeah, they won't, they won't finish that in time. 
All right, the fleet is here. Some of them are a little... They, they got grazed in that engagement, but... The other island are under our control, and then his economy is constantly tanking. Oh, I got scared that I saw her down here. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck is this happening now? So her military is significantly better than mine. Well, I'm gonna test that later on. That's for certain. Uh, you know what? It's only got 300 hit points less. And we are against Gasparov. Yeah, I th Welcome to Trelawney. Oh, Graveyard God. to thousands. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> hey, guess what? It's still a graveyard to thousands, because that's still what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, once this ship is replenished, I'll just have it go over there. The minor fires, they'll be out in, like, I guess two minutes-ish. Not a big deal. So we actually have a Perforian Flamethrower on this. It's a legendary item. I don't think I'll ever use it. Oh my god! Dude, Patrick, he kept his emotional support chicken! <laughs> oh man, and I took it away from him again. I guess that makes me a horrible person. Alright, let's get this other ship over here. Uh, you are close enough. I think if you start moving, you'll be fully fixed up by the time you're out. The radius is not too large on these things, so... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Alright, head on over here. Alright, just gonna go check back in the old world, see what's happening over here. Uh, we got our ships back here. Enterprise 2.0, let's actually bring you out. And the fence in here. So... Uh, over here, I really want to see what else we can get as far as um, people are concerned. Jewelers, instead of gold, the building process is gold ore. He's going to be useful. Uh, I'm going to grab him then. Spectacle factory, not really. I... I don't have her, but I'll grab her anyway, I guess. Um... Charcoal kilns will probably be useful on our industrial island, so them getting extra caoutchouc until Nick can get the Island of Rosa Sanguina up is going to be a, a big thing. Ferris is definitely like the best guy in this game. Changed my mind. Oh, wow. Uh, he's going to be good. Uh, bicycle factory. No. No. The scammer may not be bad, but at, at the moment I don't need him. Uh, no, nothing important here. We have one for her, so that's alright. Savvy Customs Officer. I already have her in North Ditchwater, but I'll probably end up bringing her to Constantinople. We're good on fisheries. We're not doing anything with champagne quite yet. All clay pits, all saltpeter works, sand mine. Oh, okay. You know what? He actually might be pretty good when it comes to the saltpeter and the sand mines. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab him for sure. Okay. Let's go and deliver these to Constantinople. Because the more of those guys that we have in here, the more effective our uh, productions are going to be. And then once we have them here, I think the um, this thing allows you to... It's an item transfer depot. Okay, perfect. So that will allow us to transfer the items from here. I think one here on North Ditchwater, one on Constantinople, and the other one on Isengard should be sufficient enough to keep everything going. But we will find out. All right, Cape Trelawney. Fleet some mass. Let's go at him. We're gonna see what we can do. Because if we can knock these guys both out of here, that'll be fantastic. Okay, what's my radius looking like? 
Uh, we're almost in range. Does he have a flamethrower? He does. Okay, so I need this flamethrower out, please. Move into position. Such an imposing sight. Thirty-three influence for this island. That ain't gonna happen. Into a monstrosity. Oh, he's not bad. Well, the attractiveness is good, but the thing about it is, right, I personally don't use um, guys like him in my trade unions. Sorry for that brief intermission break, what have you. I had a phone call that was very, very important, and I had to take that. Uh, so now we're going on... Uh, oh yeah, we're going the wrong way. We need to go to the other side of the island. And probably defeat him. I don't think he would have another island. There's one back here, but I don't know who owns it. Or maybe two. Seems to be two. Huh. I, I would assume it's Miss Hunts, because there's a ship coming here. Now, what else is happening here? While they're moving into position, let's head back over here and turn these guys in. Yeah, the guy who provides electricity is going to be fantastic. Anything to really cut down on um, us actually having to use electricity itself. Like, we can completely negate having somebody, having a power plant kind of close by, if that dude's in one of our trade unions. So that's really good. I'm trying to see, like, there are a lot of stuff for the hotels and the tourists that we can potentially put into, like, this uh, town hall, for example. But they haven't maxed out at all. I don't know why. Happiness debuff, needs fulfillment, tourist happiness. How are you upset with the attractiveness? Oh, because it needs to be... Why? Well, I mean, we just need to fill up our museum and our zoo a little bit, and I think we'll be fine. Maybe I should take one of my ships over there, then. Uh, you know what? Send the Fenton over to Madame Kahina's Harbor. Let's get some cultural ornaments and all that good stuff. We have a legendary one in Embeza that we can bring. Actually, you know what? Send the Komnenos there. Head on over to Tabarim. You'll get there the fastest. You're not going, like, majorly fast right now, but you will soon. Okay, now... What else you got, man? Oh, Slaughterhouse. Uh, not really. What is this one? Extra goods having... Penny farthings? Not bad. I can get them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> What'd I say? The very senior lecturer returns. We got one. She died on our ship. And she showed up here. <laughs> okay, we have him. We don't need the professor. Members club. The steward may not be bad if we're just going for an area that just wants to track in this bonus. Oh, definitely him. Definitely him. Uh, fix all fisheries productivity by 10%. Ugh, never mind. Fix all old world crop farms and hacienda potato farm. No. We already have her. We don't need another one. 
Mm, nah. Trade Union Schnapps Distillery. Okay, here's another good one. Avex Schnapps Distillery Breweries, Hacienda Schnapps Distilleries, and Hacienda Breweries. Oh, look, chance of rhyme is 100%. But having the, um, the electricity, again, is going to be really good. I'm going to grab him. Your city has grown more beautiful. Uh, airship platform, no. Well, I mean, I can... That'll be useful later on. Now we don't need it. He's also good. He's also very good. I'm trying to negate the electricity requirement. Okay, this one is also good with the other guy. Clay pits. We gain extra bauxite productivity. Oh, yeah, see, I wouldn't take him... For just for the sole purpose, I can just bring bauxite really quickly. Minus 15% is god awful. Absolutely not. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to show his mug. Are you kidding me, man? Do you know how much money I've wasted trying to get you? Get your ass in here. Good lord. Begin the turn. And how do you culminate this momentous occasion by destroying Gaspar about right? That's what you do. We finally found Chef Michelle. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so if we were to look here... Yeah, that should be it. I, I, I don't know if he would have had another one. It's possible. I actually welcome it, because if he has more, I'll gladly take it from him. Oh boy, so it's on both sides. Okay. He's got saltpeter works over here, and all that good shit. Flamethrowers. Yeah, he, he's pretty much armed to the teeth on this island. He's more armed here than he was on the other island. Jesus Christ. My entire fleet isn't even firing, it's just the front ships. Actually, we should go down this way, because we want to uh, bring all of our cannons to the bear. Then we're going to attack his main harbor here in a second. Let's get on over here. And open fire when we're ready. The flamethrower is too far away, I'm not worried about it firing at us. Our guns are poised, they're ready to go. into a monstrosity. Your enemy's resistance is crumbling. He's still alive. He's still alive. Unbelievable. Good for him. Okay, but he's got a really decent thing in here for attractiveness bonus, so I'm gonna need that. Where the hell did... Which ship? Where did I send it to? Didn't I send it to, uh... Oh, no, I sent it to Imbeza. I'm, I'm just going crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I want you to pick up this item, this item, and this item. And then I'm going to need you to go towards... I think that was Aeon's Paradise. Head on over there, please.
I don't think that's a colonizable island. These ones are, though. Let's see who's here. If he has a mega one again, that's going to be fantastic. Or if he has both of them, that's going to be fantastic. I think this is Miss Hunt's, though. I want to say it's hers. Still kind of close. Oh my god. Dude, I'm just in awe of this man right now. Moving to coordinates. What the hell? He actually, like, dead ass made somewhat of a comeback, and I am so impressed, it's unbelievable. I have to build more homes to get more influence, Jesus Christ. No shot. And here I thought, like, the one episode without an explosion would happen. It's not happening. Alright, fire at that thing. Okay, this is Miss Hunt's. Ship under attack. She has Queen's shares? That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Nice. Majesty into a monstrosity. He's still alive. Bro, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Gasparov, dude, I need to build more homes over here. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Give me another another row. <laughs> That's insane. This man I, I'm just in complete awe of this man right now. My population here is going to suffer greatly, but I don't care because it. I need the territory. I need to defeat him. The amount of potential these islands have that he had right now, this one is insane. This one's actually, like, relatively perfect for an industrial island, I'm not going to lie. We have the oil fields, like, right here, and they're all kind of close to one another. That's one. I If there's a really big island here that he owns, that actually might be a little bit better. But, uh, again, I think, like, Miss Hunt's probably... No, well, no, it's not really. It could be, because this area is very flat. Actually, this probably would be a better industrial island. Because you have a much larger beach end over Your there. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Okay, I need you to grab this. You know what? Just grab all of this. Head on over to Constantinople, please. Yeah, there's some good islands over here. Let's see what's happening. Well, that's mine. So, if anything, it would be this one in the middle. And if he actually owns this thing, I'm I'm just, I will worship this man. Yeah, I've never actually, I think it becomes queen shares the moment that the person that owned it initially is destroyed from, or removed from the game. So, that was probably either Gasparov or, well, no, it's Graves. It has to be Graves. Because Graves no longer is around, so... And we're just chugging through. I hope Miss Hunt uh, sees how powerful we are. She's got big Bettys everywhere. That's crazy. Yeah, I think this actually might be a better industrial island because this beach end seems to be a lot larger. Well, no, not particularly. They This one's actually not a bad size. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to make this the industrial island. It's good enough, and the proximity towards um, what Crown Falls, it's actually not bad. So... Oh, I'm fine. I'm content with that.
Okay, so this island does not belong to him. It belongs to her. Must be something else around here. Unless I'm missing something in Embeza, which I I could be, honestly. Is this an island that's taken? Oh my god, I think he's here. <laughs> I had to go all that way? Yeah, because I don't think if there's... A crowd was ready, this one is. Yeah, that's where his other island is. It's down there. It's this little guy. Alright, well, we found him. Okay, head on over to Port Royal. I need to gain more influence, please. All of them. All of them will do nicely. How much we get? 20 is not bad. I take it. Celebrate your leadership. And this should also help with island happiness, right? Well, a festival attractiveness. Yeah, they're all, like, pretty high up. So I, the island averages is okay. I like it. This is our airship, right? Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of resources that we can pull from now. And I'm very happy about that. While our ships are getting in position, let's just head on back over here so we can, uh... Where did my ship go? Where are you at? Oh, you're here. I didn't actually bring you all the way close. These guys are working so fast. 15 seconds for grain. That's wild. And I could probably boost this even more. That's the crazy thing. All right. Pause it all these guys, especially him. And then head back over to Eli's port. All right, let's see what we can get from here. Uh, damn. A blobfish. That's me in the morning. Uh, oh boy. That's all I have to say. Uh, what does this do? Uh, we should probably get that, because I think we have Empire of the Eagle stuff, so that's actually not a bad piece of sheet music to have. Uh, I'm a big fan of a peacock. Let's, let's grab one. Oh, okay, see, like, here, I could probably get those, and they'll be fantastic somewhere else, but, I mean, potatoes not really that important. If I can get those ones in red peppers, or the hops, that would have been fantastic, though. Uh, unknown luminescent fish. Yeah, why not? What's this? Commodore's metal. Deep sea dragonfish. Yeah, let's grab that. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. There's a quality grain seeds. Uh, quality grapevine. Silver shield. Now some seahorses. Why am I just taking all the, like... Great Coral Reef, is that what these guys are? These are luminaries... luminaries. You're just part of nothing. <laughs> okay, hybrid hop seeds, please, thank you. Uh, hybrid grape seeds. Thank you. Here I was trying to find animals, and I got from its everything else that I wanted. Okay, let's get these guys in here, please, and go over to our glorious museum. Start putting them down. Oh, we're close. We're close. Your city has grown more beautiful. There you go. So now they shouldn't complain too much. We have only one open exhibit left. So that means... Yeah, because it, it goes up based off of the island attractiveness. Got it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So we have a whole bunch of other things that we can get. How about you head on over to Manukahina's Harbor for me. And let's see where our ships are at. Still chugging away. We're close. Attention for the Admiral. What an episode. 
I'm just in awe of this man. The thing is with Miss Hunt, we have to go ahead and protect a lot of our, probably our New World holdings. Um, where I would probably start the fight against her is going to be in the Old World, so I can completely knock her out. Can we, like, be a little bit smart here and not go into the debris? You can go around it, you know. This is so risky. Oh, yeah. See, there's more queen shares there. Alright, man. It was nice knowing you, but... Your time has come. Watch, she has a big Betty over here. I don't see it. Oh my god, she does. That's insane, dude. That's absolutely insane. Yep, well, those guns firing pretty much told me exactly. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Soon they'll have nothing left. Just under attack. Ready? You are to let me face it. <laughs> into a monstrosity. There, there is to be no gothic revival. You were fond of my work, weren't you? Weren't you? Ready? A competitor has been annihilated. And with that, I will catch you all in the next episode. Because we did a whole bunch here, and we need a rest. <laughs>